welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my YouTube thumbnails. So I do use my phone for this because I think it's easier and I use two apps normally. Sometimes I use three if I have to like fix the lighting, which I'll use Lightroom if I need to do that. But normally I use Pixar and Fonto. So let's get started. First you go into Pixar and then click the plus at the bottom. And then for this thumbnail, I'm gonna be using the background as a Bloxburg room. And then go to the tools and then crop. Scroll down to YouTube and then fix it like that. And then click apply. And then go down to effects and then scroll and then there'll be blur. And you can click it again and you'll be able to adjust the blur how intense you want it. And click apply and then you can scroll down at the bottom more then you'll see brushes click on that and here you'll be able to find all kinds of like objects and stuff you can put all over the screen as much as you want so for example if you want glitter click on the glitter one and you can do it like that click on it again and you'll be able to choose the size of the glitter or how much it puts and you can put the opacity if you want it lighter and then just fix it however you want it to be after you do that click apply and then go to the next button and then click save and download photo Next, you'll go to Fonto, and then at the bottom, in the middle, there will be a camera button. Click that. Click Photo Albums. Recent. And then add the photo you just saved on Pixar. And then at the bottom, you can put a filter if you want. I don't normally do it, but for the video, I will. And then click Done. And then now, you can go to the three lines at the bottom left click add image and I'm going to add a GFX this is optional and then click size click on the GFX and then click size and then adjust it how you want and then put it wherever and then click on the three lines again this time click add item go down at the bottom click the star Scroll down until you see a square, a black square. And then click on it and then click size. And then here you're able to adjust the width and the height and try to make it like a border. After you've done that, you can click anywhere on the screen and click add text. And in here you can type anything you're gonna put on there. And then I'm going to do how I, and then you can do like fonts. You are able to download these, load, download these on thefont.com. I will link a video on how to do it, but I'm not going to show it on this video. So I'm going to do cherry liney for the first part of this, and then click done, and then click style. And then I'll go to the style at the top, and then at the bottom right where the A is, I'm going to click that. So it, and then adjust the blur so it looks like it's glowing and then make the blur white so I'll um, bring that to the top and size it and just repeat that for every word you want to put down to the bottom right and click that button 
then scroll down and click save image and it'll say save successfully click ok and there you have your thumbnail so i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope it was helpful like and subscribe if you haven't already and thank you for watching